The ocean is one of the most fascinating places on Earth. Much of this fascination is due to the fact that humans have explored less than 5% of it. 5%? If the ocean were a novel, that's the equivalent of, like, a prologue. We've read the ocean's prologue. Now, unfortunately, here in Iowa, this horse trough is the closest thing we have to an ocean. So there's not much exploring to be found around here. Fortunately, that's what research is for. One of the most interesting things in nature is chemiluminescence. This is the ability to emit light using a chemical process. When it's found in a living organism, it is called bioluminescence. Some of the coolest bioluminescent organisms can be found deep under the sea, but there are some land-dwelling species of fungi and plants that can as well. Not to mention the most well-known bioluminescent organism, fireflies. This ability to produce light is caused by a reaction between two or more chemicals. Luciferase, an enzyme, and luciferin, a pigment that emanates light, are synthesized by the organism. Luciferin is what produces the light. Luciferase is what catalyzes the reaction. In some cases, an outside source is needed to help the process along, such as oxygen or adenosine triphosphate. Interestingly enough, the humpback anglerfish's bioluminescence isn't caused by chemicals, but by a symbiotic relationship with bioluminescent bacteria. The bacteria coalesce within the anglerfish's antenna, acting as a lure for prey. Deep sea creatures use bioluminescence for a number of reasons. For instance, the vampire squid has the ability to squirt bioluminescent mucus into the water to confuse predators, a trait not uncommon among various species. Arguably, its primary function is communication. It can be used to signal other members of a creature species, alert them to danger, call for help, or find a mate. They're lonely. Now on a related, but dissimilar note, biofluorescence is another way that marine creatures illuminate themselves. As opposed to synthesizing their own light from within, some species of jellyfish or coral absorb blue light and reflect it back in shades of green, orange, and red. And it's not just organisms with no CNS either. The swell shark, the hawksbill sea turtle, and over a hundred different kinds of fish were discovered to be able to fluoresce. Discoveries and studies pertaining to chemiluminescence are ongoing, and researchers are investigating whether or not this phenomenon of nature will be able to help in the unearthing of a cure for chronic and terminal diseases, such as cancer, HIV, or Crohn's disease. There's a boatload of discoveries out there, not only in this particular area, but within the entirety of the ocean. There's a vast world down there, and we've only just begun to uncover its mysteries. I'm Melissa Graff, and I'm going to major in marine biology. Thank you for your consideration.